Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming back, hanging out with your boy, Ramo Red Track. You know I'm going to give it to you like you like it, like you need it, and like you got to have it every time, right on time. Like and subscribe. What's up, guys? I just got a brand new idea for what my next maybe three or four videos are going to be about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, let me tell you something. And this is a little bit off track, but I wanted I want to talk about this. God is always playing a game on your side. If you're a good person, you see what I'm saying? Then you, God is always playing the game for you to win. It may seem like you're losing at one point. You look at the story of Joseph. You look at the story of Job. You name it, Jesus, whoever, right? They losing at one point. But God is always playing the game for you to win at the end. Okay? So, now I got this nutcase brother, all right? He, um, what I'll do is that when I make a YouTube video, I send them the video that I made. Just so happened yesterday, my video was about him. Now, I done made a thousand videos, and this, this is the first time I talked about this nigga. This will be the second time he's been on my YouTube page after a thousand videos. I made one video. Now, this, keep in mind, you know, I send all my videos to him. This is over a thousand. That motherfucker ain't say he like one of them yet. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just anything. You know what I mean? So, and this is, that's why I'm, this is going to be like one of, this might be about five videos. I might do a little series on this because this dude. So, um, <laughs> so, okay. I do a video on it, right? Yeah, um. All of a sudden, there's a comment in my um, thing yesterday, right? Saying how I want to be like him and all this shit, right? It's just that delusional shit. You see what I'm saying? So, I didn't comment back, you know what I mean? Because you see the lack, of, that's the lack of discretion. You see what I mean? That's lack of discretion because, see, like now, now, what if I was to go on his page and start doing some shit like that? You see what I mean? I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody knows who he is. And he also knows that uh, I don't want really anybody to know who I am on this. Right? Not because I really care, but it's just that I've already started Ramo Red Track. Like, Ramo Red Track is a real person. It's not that um, I don't want people to know that um, people call me Omar Carter. It's not that. Not at all. It's just that I just separated. I just separated. Ramo Red Track is my stage name. And, um, you know. Right? So... I'm just gonna have fun with it, y'all, and I think it's gonna it's gonna be funny. I haven't really formulated how I'm going to make it happen, you know. But I just wanted to start this one to let you guys know where I'm going, probably for the next maybe week or two. And um, you know, I just tell you, it's weird because when you're growing up with these people that smoke crack, right? You just get used to crazy stuff. Like, I remember when I was in college, my brother was like, he was like, um, hey, man, I got a DUI, right? I'm like, oh, okay. Right? I hadn't gotten one yet, right? Then he was like, maybe like a year later, he was like, um, yo, I got another DUI. I'm like, yo, okay, damn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now, see, this is when you get... Now, this I'm in college, so I've already gotten used to the functional crackhead. I'm used to him telling me things that are just like, okay. You know what I mean? And, um, so then he gets two, and like, I don't know, maybe a year or two later, maybe, right? 
Yo, I got an DUI. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got one DUI in my, in my life. And I wasn't, the thing about it is I should have gotten a lot more. <laughs> but I only got one. And after that, I was like, okay, if I'm going to drive drunk, then I'm going to have to drive drunk in this manner. If I'm going to get fucked up, then I have to let somebody else drive or wait until I come down. I'll just go to sleep in my fucking car. I'll be the last car sitting in the parking lot at the club. Fuck it. I'm not getting another DUI. Right? Mm hmm. Now, I got my first DUI in 95. And the only reason why I got it was because there was like this cop in the middle of the road. There was an accident. And I didn't see the motherfucker, right? I was looking at the accident. And, um, like he, like, basically felt like I drove too close to him because it didn't almost hit him. And he gets pissed off, jumps in his car, boom. Never gave me a ticket for anything, but said uh, he could smell alcohol on me, right? So I got my first DUI. Now, we on his third one, right? And he calls me up. <laughs> this is You see what I'm saying? Do you see where I'm going with this? This is just one thing. This is, I've got so much shit. This is just one thing. And, and I hope you're listening, big brother. Because if you dare make a comment on this video, oh, you see, you don't, you don't, you don't know. See, they, these guys like Kwame Brown, these other guys out here, all these people out here, they know. I've been real nice lately. You don't want me to get in that ass. Mm -mm. <laughs> so then he calls me up. He says he's got another DUI. Four DUIs. Now, by the time you get the third when you're driving without a license. And that's just the ones he told me about. You see what I'm talking about? Like, I can't even... It's hard for me to even get to the beginning point of this shit. That's how... It's 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 invigorating for me. Because I've held back a lot. And uh, I never really talked to my family about my brother. You know, I don't talk about... Um, well, I do say he's a crackhead. But he looks like a crackhead. Anybody would know that he's a crackhead. He got them Mr. Skinny eyes, you know what I'm talking about? Times two. <laughs> At least Skinny could get a tan and shit, and his shit would go away. My brother's shit is just dark, like an Indian. You know what I'm saying? And I'll give him some props. He's good at it. He's real good at it. You know, I mean, he's been able to maintain a relationship. I don't know if his girl is an alcoholic or not. I think she is. I think his girl, she he got this white chick. I think she's probably an alcoholic or she does drugs. Because why? I don't know. I don't know why anybody would, would stay with a, a crackhead. No, you wouldn't, right? Nobody. Not in a real way. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Not, not, you know, for 30 years and shit. So something's going on there. I don't know what it is. It's it's something. It's She's either an alcoholic, feels like she can't get anybody else now, probably at this age, or she's doing something, too. She's probably on drugs, too. I don't know. I'm not going to say either way. She's a nice lady. Anyway, she might just like him. I don't know. She might not be a crackhead. I'm not going to say. I don't know that. I'm not... Not going to make stuff up. I'm just saying chances are. Because I know his last chick, the last lady was a crackhead. Chances are, you know, she's, I don't know, something. Because I know by the time my girl told me she got her fourth DUI, we would not be together. Fuck that. <laughs> Think about that shit. Think about if you were in a relationship with somebody, right? 
And I'm, I'm not going to go too deep today. I'm just going to stay on the DUI thing, the psychology behind it, the madness behind it. If you were with somebody in a relationship, and at some point, at any point in that relationship, they were on their fourth DUI. Just think about this. See what I mean? Now, I'm going to break it down and slow it down. That's why I want to do more than one video on this because there's so many aspects to this. And I know that there are other people out here dealing with this. There may be even like the lady that he's with, right? She's probably just used to that kind of shit. You see what I'm saying? She's used to it. She's used to a man who probably doesn't have a license, but I don't know how he could before DUIs, but for the longest time didn't have a license. Could you be in a relationship with someone that was smoking crack and didn't have a license? <laughs> I mean, just think about that. What could, who could that be? I mean, I don't, I don't think I could do that. Well, I know I wouldn't do that shit. My bitches don't never have no arrest on their record or nothing, so I don't, you know what I'm saying? But, right. It's just interesting, and I think this is going to be liberating for me because it's not a thing where I'm getting on here and I'm trying to, like, destroy him or something like that. I'm just telling the truth. I'm just going to tell the truth out loud, and that's going to be my therapy. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you choose to come over here and listen to it, that's on you. I didn't ask you to come over here. <laughs> Nigga sitting over there with zero subscribers and shit. <laughs> and, he, and he be posting shit. <laughs> like what? Nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Nigga has zero subscribers. Wow. Mm. I didn't even know that was possible. Because I know sometimes if I'm in the chat room, I'll click on somebody's um, picture. You know, just to see in, in the comment section, I'll pick, click on somebody's picture, you know, that I thought might be funny or something like that. And I'm surprised because when I go to their page, um, they might not have really that many posts or anything, but they'll have like, they might have like two videos up and then they'll have like three or 400 subscribers or sometimes, you know, 75 subscribers, whatever. I, I've never seen a page that actually posts things over a period of time, it, his, his page has been up for, I think, four years. I've never seen anybody who posts things and has zero subscribers. <laughs> and I want to get into that, too. I want to go into the whole YouTube thing and, and the whole jealousy thing. And, 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 and you know, y'all see how I move on here. I don't move on, on YouTube like nobody else. I get to be myself, and I don't have to talk about nobody else. And I still get subscribers. I might not get them as fast or as many as other people, but I hold my own on here. If I wanted to talk about celebrities, I could easily do that and get, I don't know, how many. Right? So, um, but that's a whole other thing, his page. I'm not even going to put him on blast and say his name on here. Because then I know we got people that'll go over there and be like, what the fuck is going on here? How are you actually posting videos up and nobody's watching them? Like, well, nobody's subscribing? Come on, man. I'm going to shoot you. I got to shoot you when you do stuff like that. I wouldn't even let, I would I wouldn't even let you know I had a page if it had zero subscribers. And the whole time you've been trying to tell me my shit is full of shit. Not letting me know that you had a YouTube page up for four damn years. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to go into that. Back to the DUI stuff. Um...
So it's just I don't know what you know. I say I don't know, but thing is, when you when you when you have these people, uh, you know, in your life. They're always right. They'll never be wrong about anything. Mm -hmm. Never examine themselves. You know what I mean? Because they got clouded minds. They they crack. I guess after a while, it calcifies on your brain. You don't, you don't get to change. You gotta stay the same. You stay in the same spot you was when you started smoking that shit. Yep. Sad to watch. Mm-hmm. And I'm the only one that'll say anything about it, of course. And then what? What is that? Then what? What happens then? Now I'm the bad guy, right? So. This is, um, I think, I don't know what I'm going to call this series. Dealing with a functional crackhead. How to deal with a functional crackhead in your family. Yeah, part one. Hey, I'm Ramo Retract. Baddest man on YouTube.